Dogtra, the world's finest maker of e-collars for dogs, is proud to introduce Mike Ritland, former U.S. Navy SEAL, founder of Tricos International and the Warrior Dog Foundation. Mike's unique background and training expertise provide a powerful process to training canine dogs. So in, in the very first bite session, what you saw out of the dog is he was very uncomfortable. It was his first time with me working him, his first time with, with Carlos working him. You know, I, I had honestly no idea what to expect. What he showed me is that he was very uncomfortable. So there's two huge problems with that. Number one is that that's what he's thinking about. He's not thinking, how, am I, how bad am I hurting this guy? How am I taking it to the man? What he's thinking about is, is, is secondary. It's, you know, who, who's going to come in and, and crush my world? Uh, you know, to make me let go. And, and those are two things, two huge things that I don't ever want a dog. If he's going into a building or going in on a suspect or, or preventing a char carjacking, whatever it is, if it's a real world scenario where that dog could potentially save my life or I could lose it because of it, the last thing I want is, is a shred of confidence being lost in that dog. The good news is, is as you can see from just, you know, 10, 15 minutes of bite work, you can change the, the perception of how a dog looks at bite work training fairly quickly. Um, again, the dog's genetics uh, are, are going to tell you everything in terms of how far you can go, but at a minimum, if you work them correctly, you can, you can get the most out of your dog in, in that fashion, so it's, it's imperative. They, you know, I, I, I rarely see dogs being worked in that fashion, you know, usually what you see is the dog comes in, he's whining, he's pulling, he's tugging, he's uncomfortable, and the handler comes in and, and takes him off strong, whether it's, uh, you know, with an e-collar, with, with choking, with, uh, you know, a prong collar, whatever it is, you know, and, and the dog's never really getting a, a clear understanding of what the expectation is. His genetics and foundational training says, yeah, I want to go bite, but he, do, he doesn't know how to fight the man properly, and, that, and that's the biggest biggest issue I see with a lot of bite work training today is, is not, not teaching those concepts. You know, ju just like in every other aspect of my training, I I'm not going to use an e-collar until he understands, right? So number one, he's got to be strong in the bite work. He's got to be uh, confident, emboldened. He, he knows what he wants. I know what he wants. The decoy is doing everything right. And then we do a self-outing drill where we basically do so many repetitions at a, at a um, or in a manner rather, in which in which the dog is essentially getting uh, exhausted to the point of where he'll let go. Once his mind is clear and, and that takes place, and then I teach him to let go. Once he, I know that he understands and he's outing for me clean on a regular basis, then to, to maintain that level of control, just like I do in obedience, just like I do in anything else, uh, then that's, at that point that's when I'm going to use an e-collar because he knows. The problem with using an e-collar before that dog knows is all, all you're doing is you're basically making the dog quit. You know, if, if the dog is, is on, on the bite and you're using so much, whether it's a, a prong collar or an e-collar or whatever, you're using so much force and, and positive punishment to where the dog is basically letting go because he doesn't want whatever is taking place to happen anymore, what are you teaching him? You're teaching him that that dog can be defeated on the man. I don't want that. I want him to understand that by letting go, he's going to get something good out of it, which is a regrip. Uh, but you can't get that. You can't get to that point until the dog's mind is clear. It's just like if you've got one ball uh, and you're trying to get the dog to give the ball up, use another ball. That's essentially what you're doing with a regrip. Is you get the dog, ex you know, to a level of exhaustion where the dog's mind is clear. Now he understands. Okay, now I can let go. The second he lets go, bam! You give him a nice sweeping prey movement. He gets a regrip a few seconds. You tell him to out. He outs. Bam! Give him another one. Do four, five, six of those rotations. Put him up. You do several sessions of that and very quickly, just like you see the, how fast they can learn if it's done properly. Um, once they get to that point, um, you know, then they understand what out means. And you do several sessions of that. Now, once they're, they're spitting them out nice and clean on, on command, then that's when I'll use an e-collar to, to just make sure that it takes place, basically. Um, whether there's a lot of distractions, whether the guy is fighting hard, uh, whether it's a, a, you know, a, a call off mid, midway, uh, you know, things of that nature. Thank you.